Hey, what's up everybody? You know what's going on. You know who I be and you know how I do. Doing some Kobe beef stir fry today. I already did the beef. Basically you use this skillet, put the, some olive oil, cover the bottom, chop the meat up as best I could, although it came out pretty chunky and irregular. Still got some sort of decent strips like this one here. Uh, but that was kind of rough. Still tasted really good. I uh, threw a bunch of teriyaki sauce on it. Right as soon as I put it in there. Doing some vegetables now. Uh oh, alarm's going off. And uh, I didn't clean the pan out or anything. The skillet, I mean. I just kind of threw the veggies in there with... Uh, all the oil and, and grease from the meat. So it's gonna be nice and teriyaki up too. Kinda made a mistake with the first bunch of vegetables I put in here. They came real big. Like this is a uh, was way too big. So I had to cut them up while they were in the skillet, which was kinda rough. Got some burns on my hands from the oil. So I'm cutting them up before I put them in there this time. Try to make them a little bit more manageable and bite size. Definitely smells good. I think I got kind of shorted on the cauliflower here. This is like 90% broccoli. Very little cauliflower in here. It is what it is though. Probably a little bit more broccoli. And that's kind of an extreme meat to vegetable ratio. A lot of meat for not so many vegetables, but I was thinking probably 50-50 would be pretty good. Pretty close. So the frying commences, the stirring begins. Still got some big broccoli chunks in there. Cut this guy down to size. Try not to scratch the inside of my skillet. It's that good non-stick stuff. Maybe do a little more. And they've been in there for a minute, so I don't really know how late it's okay to add more vegetables. Obviously, I want them all to come out cooked evenly, so I might be kind of pushing it here. But you know, this is my first time. I've never done stir fry before. Never cooked Kobe beef before. We live and learn. But I reckon it's okay so long as I'm covering pretty much the whole surface of the skillet. Should be just about right. Yeah, some of these little guys are getting fried up good. Already. I didn't replenish the oil or the teriyaki. 
uh, after I remove the meat, so that might have been a good idea. Because I'm concerned that some of these veggies might just be sitting here cooking. Not actually getting all that nice teriyaki juice soaking in. But like I said, we'll see. I don't know if you're supposed to put a lid on the skillet when you stir fry. <clears throat> but I am not going to do that this time. Mainly because I don't have a lid for this skillet. So we'll let that go for just a minute. And then we'll come back and see what happens. Well, it's been a few more minutes, and uh, the broccoli stems are still pretty crispy. I don't really want to turn up the heat. I'm already at medium heat. Because I am not going to eat burnt vegetables. I've considered throwing some more teriyaki sauce in there. Just don't know. So I reckon maybe it's time for a taste test. Oh. That's actually perfect. Could use some more teriyaki. That'll say. Probably should have thrown some more in there. But maybe when it uh, mixes with the meat, which is laden with flavor, it'll turn out better. I guess let's find out. All right, all finished up. <clears throat> really doesn't look bad. A couple of things I learned. Veggie to meat ratio, suboptimal. Definitely could have used more veggies. Um, but they cooked perfectly. This is probably because I actually used two packs of Kobe beef. And uh, I cooked the both of them, either pack individually in the skillet. Because they wouldn't both fit. And then I just filled the skillet with vegetables. So next time, one pack of beef, and then fill the skillet with vegetables. I think that'll be better. Um, might have been using a little bit too high of a temperature because some of my beef strips kind of cracked with this guy right here kind of got all uh, crisped on the outside and then uh, whenever I tried to move it it just cracked in half Not bad at all, though. Vegetables actually a little bit too tender. I'm gonna say borderline slimy. So, I'll have to figure out how to keep them crisp while making sure that they're cooked real good next time. Flavor is awesome, though. We'll probably do the beef in smaller pieces as well. Try to do them in like big fancy cool looking strips. A lot of the pictures I've seen, they kind of came out like almost like tender sized, like nuggets. Somewhere between a tender and a nugget. I might do them smaller so they can mix in with the stir fry better. Overall, success. 
for this culinary experiment. Learned a little bit. Got some good food. Dried out. <laughs>